Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking Amazon. I know a lot of people do not support Amazon, but we do and we do it very well. I'm gonna be going through what I've bought in the last 30 days and tell you whether I kept it and what I thought about it. I got this idea from Coffee Break with Danny. She did the same thing. She buys a lot from Amazon. I think together we could rule the Amazon world. So I figured, you know what? I want to try to do the same thing because we buy a lot of things on Amazon, like a lot of things. So I figure I would share them with you guys. There's a lot of random things that I don't ever think about sharing. So I thought that would be a good thing too. Like maybe something you didn't even know existed. Maybe I buy it and maybe it's something that could make your life easier. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys find it fun or entertaining. Also, everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description box below in case you guys want to purchase for these items. Also, don't forget that the prices on Amazon vary. Sometimes it can be more expensive. They can be more... Uh, cheap so I'm not gonna mention how much I purchased it from uh, just in case you know the prices kind of vary and you know that might get a little confusing I just looked and it's about 50 orders so let's get into this video all right so I've gone ahead and kind of scoot over so we can pop up some pictures here all right so I'm gonna start with April 29th the product I purchased was the L'Oreal Paris age perfect radiant concealer and I bought it in 215 natural beige I bought this because uh Jessica Braun was talking about it saying that it's one of her favorite concealers and she'd been talking about it for actually quite a long time and I just have been hadn't gone to around to hadn't gotten around to buying it and I finally purchased it and I gotta say I haven't used it very very much but I've been enjoying it and you guys will probably see it in a makeup video coming up. What else? Oh yeah, the cat water fountain. So our kitty cats, so in case you don't know, we have two cats. Um, they're about to be six years old in just a few days. And it's a boy and a girl. And we read ones that cats are prone to get um, urinary infections and things like that. So in order to avoid that from happening, you can buy them a water fountain. And what that does is it creates a sound which makes them curious, so therefore it draws their attention to the water fountain, and then they end up drinking water. So we ended up buying a water fountain many years ago. It was like almost as soon as we adopted them, and we've just switched brands back and forth. And we found this recent one, which is by NPET, and I really, really like this brand because typically what would happen is that after a few uses and washes, eventually we'd have to get rid of it because you couldn't replace the water pump or you couldn't replace the filters or whatever. And this brand actually carries the filter separate as well as the pump, which is perfect. Also, I love the fact that the water fountain is clear and it matches pretty much anybody's decor and it has a grayish tone but it's pretty much clear and you can also see how much water you have left in the fountain. So it makes it very great. It's super sleek, super cute, and it's a bit of a smaller size. So it's a 1.5 liter. We used to have the three liter, which was a lot bigger, but we realized there was no need for that because they drink out of it. I mean, regardless, it doesn't matter of the size. Then I purchased a long sleeve shirt from Franz. I bought it because Coffee Break with Danny recommended it. Of course, she is much taller much thinner so things don't look the same on me as they do on her but my fantasy self thought that they might and i bought it and returned it so that is that i also purchased the mighty patch originals i got these for my sister but also so that i could use them every once in a while um i get breakouts like once in a blue moon but when i have them i want to have something to treat it so i'm not picking at them and so i bought those and so far she likes them i used them two times as we bought them and i'm not too impressed with them but i still have to use them a little more then i got a corduroy long sleeve um button up shirt i got it in a size medium black color i got this because riley i always forget her name her last name she mentioned it on one of her hauls saying that it was super pretty and it looked so cute on her and I bought it 
and it doesn't look as cute on me as it did on her but I'm still gonna keep it just because I still like how it wears Ooh, right so we eat in our living room we don't have a table anymore so we eat at our coffee table it's been something that we've been doing for like years now and so we got rid of our table we don't have a table anymore we're not table people but we do have a coffee table so at that table i like to have a placemat for when we eat and we used to have the ones that are kind of like a wicker like a plastic wicker material but it was so gross because like food would get stuck inside and then never come out and the only way you could get it out is if you like brushed it out in the sink and it was just a hassle so one day i was scrolling through amazon and i saw that there is such a thing as leather placemats and i didn't know that was such a thing i never knew this existed and i found these which are the homing store i guess oh the homing brand and they come in a ton of different colors um i got them in the camel color because that would match uh, better with our living room and they're supposed to be heat resistant resistant they are waterproof and they're wipeable so you literally just get a wipe or wet cloth and then you just wipe them and that's it your problem is solved and i love them they're so cute i think it came with a set of six and they were super affordable so if you guys been looking for placemats i would highly recommend these because they're actually really good quality too they're very thick and they're very well made like i was really impressed when i got them i thought they were going to be a little bit more on the cheap side but no then i have a lot of stomach issues the older i get the worse that my stomach issues get i get stomach aches when i'm cold i eat something my stomach hurts i don't know it's just it, it's just no fun so i decided to pick up psyllium husk caps and this is supposed to help with your digestion which is why I got them. I think Bobby from Play City is the one that recommended them. And so I figured I would give them a try. And so far, they've been working out, let's just say, very well. And they've been doing the job. And I haven't gotten any more stomach aches. I don't feel as bloated. And yeah, they're pretty great. So I'm going to continue to take them. And they're not expensive. Um, mine were around $10. And it comes with 200 caps. And you take two to four a day depending on how much you need them i guess so. so the next thing we got are the ethical bean medium roast coffee and this one comes already ground this coffee is delicious we're big big coffee people here at my home and we drink coffee at least once a day each one of us and we're kind of picky on the coffee that we drink and this coffee met all of our desires so it's pretty much the coffee you want to have when you just don't want to think about it like you don't care you don't know if you want dark light heavy strong whatever the heck you want this is just like a very average very good tasting coffee and it's super affordable one thing i do want to mention so i usually pay about eight dollars for it but sometimes their prices go super high like 15 do not pay that price wait until it goes back down to like around eight dollars and then purchase it because yeah they sometimes go super high and I don't know why. Maybe their stock is low. I don't know why they do that. But what I like about it is that it is organic. And you can actually track where it comes from. Like it has a little uh, code that you can scan. And then you can see where it comes from. So it's a pretty cool company it seems like. And I haven't tried their other um, flavors. But I really like the just the medium roast. It's one that we always keep. We've repurchased it at this point. Maybe like seven times and it was one that i would really recommend we also purchased new bowls for kitty cats so i purchased one set and then francisco purchased the other set so i'll link both of those below but we were noticing that our cats were throwing up a lot after they would eat not like every day but quite often and we didn't know what was causing it we didn't know if it was the food or maybe they got into something they weren't supposed to so apparently the bowls that they sell which are just like your regular bowls that you set on the floor are not good for them because they're hunching over while they're eating and it creates like a digestion problem i'll pop up a picture of like the one i saw um versus if you have a bowl that's raised it creates like a better digestion for them while they eat or whatever so we bought them in hopes that that would work and that would help them not throw up as much and so far we've had these for about a month 
and they haven't thrown up at all. Like, not once, not at all. Then, apparently, nobody told me that on your ring light, you're supposed to use a diffuser. And I saw it on somebody's video the other day, and I decided to pick one up just to see what the fuss was about, and that's what I have right now, right here. That's what you guys see, the brightness on my ring light, and I feel like it actually does make a difference. It doesn't make it as har harsh of a lighting. So I'm excited to have picked that up. Then I got finally some peach bands, the real peach bands. And these are just the regular, oh no, actually I got the fabric ones, the fabric resistant bands. It's not like the plastic ones. These are supposed to be a bit more durable. And they came in like a super cute packaging. It comes with three different colors, three different um, resistance. So it's light, medium, and heavy, I think. Is that what there is? Yeah, light, medium, and heavy. And I haven't used them yet, so I can't tell you much about it. But, I mean, I've heard really good things about it. And I wanted some for myself. I have been really into camisoles, like camis. And I bought a few from Old Navy. But then I saw, I think it was Coffee Break with Danny. She was in her video and she showed these silk satin shirts. But what I like about it is that depending on what side you wear it on, it will be how low the cut is. So if you don't like a lot to show a lot of cleavage, you wear it on one side. And if you want to show a little more and be a little sexy, then you just twist it around to the other side. And they're super cute. They are a little bit on the shorter side, but... I mean, it works fine because you don't want them to be oversized anyways. And the next item I didn't actually get for myself this time. I got it for my mom. Is the hibiscus flower from Anthony's Organics. And I usually, I bought this originally because I wanted to make this like dip thing, this Mexican dip thing. I ended up using it to make agua fresca, which is pretty much just a juice. So what I do is I steep these flowers and make them into tea, like a very heavy tea. And then I just add a ton of water, a little bit of sugar, and that's what we drink. So now I kind of don't buy juice anymore. We pretty much just have that hibiscus tea, and it's delicious, so refreshing. If you guys have never had hibiscus tea, I would recommend it. And it's pretty cheap, and you're going to get so much use out of that huge bag, and it'll last you forever. The two next items were not for me. They were my mom bought them for my grandma, but it's items that I use as well. It's the Or... O-R-L-Y, Orly, Orly, base, a nail coat, the bonder. I love using that for my nails. Don't look at my nails today because I need to redo them. They're super chipped, but I use that for my bonder and it creates like a sticky base so that the nail polish attaches to your nail, but I think it also helps it so that your nails don't get stained, whatever color you use on top. And then the Stesh Vive gel effect top coat is what I use for the top of my coat the top coat on my nails and it makes them super shiny it makes them last a very long time and i would highly recommend those too if you do your nails at home and you've been looking for a base and a top coat and for mother's day we bought my grandma and my mom a iron flask sports water bottle but they don't like the big ones so we got them some 14 ounce ones these bottles are made so well we have some here at home as well and they keep your drinks either cold or hot i believe I think they do hot as well yes they do hot as well and they come with three attachments so they come with like uh the top that you just completely open and you have like the wide mouth they come with like a little straw attachment or you can use them as a coffee mug so it's pretty useful it's a great gift to give someone that you know likes to carry water or whatever and you should always stay hydrated and always carry water with you so it's a great thing to have Ooh, i bought myself a uh, adapter kit replace oh dummy battery it's a dummy battery for my sony zv1 that i'm recording on right now and pretty much what it does is that you connect it to the power and and never runs out of battery because it's running through power not through battery so it's great it also probably prolongs the life of your battery so you're not constantly having to use them and recharge them use them and recharge them if you're gonna have it stationary somewhere at home so it's so far, this is the first time I use it, and I love it so far. The only thing is that the camera does get a little warm, but, I mean, you just turn it off for a little bit, and you're fine. Ooh, I bought myself two nail polishes, two new yellow nail polishes. So I bought one that was, like, a pastel and one that's a bright color. I haven't used 
the bright color yet so i'm waiting to be able to use those but it's from o opi and those are really good always then i found some socks so i've been looking for some socks that were no show for like my band slip-ons that i have and i have a wide foot so a lot of socks if they have too much like seam on the corners will rub off on my on my toes and they end up hurting so some socks are kind of uncomfortable in the heel because they have that rubber part anyways i was looking for something that was comfortable but also um functional and i found these socks by the brand goni that's the brand so it comes in a set of either all black all white or you can get colorful ones i got i'm a size 8 and i got the 6 to 8 because the 8 to 10 was a bit too loose but the 6 to 8 is snug enough that the sock doesn't slip around and they actually don't show so the only piece you see is like the heel part but that doesn't bother me i just didn't want you to be able to see the whole sock coming out like you could before so those are super good they're super comfortable they're not extra snug so it's supposed to have a texture plush under show cushion with and it also helps you to not get blisters oh arch support so that's what they have they have an arch support but yeah, they're super comfortable. I would highly recommend them. They're not super thick. They're not super thin. And I'm excited that I found them. And again, you know, they're cute. We bought Muala milk. So my sister drinks almond milk. I drink anything non-dairy. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be almond milk. But typically it's almond milk or oat milk. And I was looking for one that was cleaner. Because a lot of the almond milks that you see in the store, if you actually look at the ingredients, they have a lot of gums included in to them which is an emulsifier but the problem with the gums is that they're not good for your gut health so it's okay to have it once in a while but to have it every day it's not recommended so i was looking for one that didn't have all those added stuff and thrive market sells their brand um their own brand which doesn't really have anything added which is great but you can only buy four at a time so you know if i don't have anything to purchase i'm not gonna just purchase milk and so I wanted another alternative and I found Moala. And so I got myself the coconut oat milk, which tastes so yummy. It's actually like a smooth texture. It doesn't have like that grittiness that some oat milk has. Same with the almond milk. They're both very silky, very yummy. And, you know, if you didn't know, you would think they're real milk. Then I got a replacement for my OXO top bottle brush because I hate having to stick your hand into cups. Uh, I don't like doing that. So I decided a while back to buy a, uh, this is supposed to be a thing for like baby bottles, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can use it for whatever you want. And it's come out to be a really good quality. It washes the cups so well. You can reach the corners and crevices of cups that you probably couldn't for. Then we got some large storage bags. So my reasoning for this was that we sometimes keep clothes for like donation or for my mom or whatever. And usually they're just in Ikea bags. They're kind of open and just, you know, being thrown around everywhere. And I wanted to buy some bags that you could see what was inside but it could stay clean because most of the time what we do when we're going to donate is we wash them, then we donate. But then with the cat hair and all that, it just stands out there and it gets dusty and, you know, gross. So with these bags, I figured we can just put them in there, put them away, and they won't get dusty or dirty or whatever. So it's a good option um, to keep like your comforters, your towels, sheets, whatever you want in like a storage without them getting dirty. Um, I also purchased a Equal Tools uh, blush brush if you guys want to see that in action I will link that video below but it's just pretty much a brush I purchased the Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense and this one is SPF 30 and I got it because Jessica Braun recommended it she said it was good I tried it and it's not my favorite actually I was using the Can Make SPF and I preferred that one way more the Paula's Choice I feel like the Paula's Choice kind of mattifies my skin and doesn't hydrate it as much as I would want it to. I know that it has a lot of added benefits versus like the can make that it's just an SPF, but I don't know. I just have to try it a few more times. I have it right here. I'll show you guys what. So this is the size of it. It comes with half an ounce and I mean, it's good. It's supposed to have like a wrinkle defense with antioxidants and resveratrol. Res Res Resveratrol. 
wow that was hard it's good enough for like maybe 10 uses or something i don't know how much use you'll be able to get out of it but. then i got myself some sunglasses i did not need them but i saw coffee break with danny using them in her vlog and i just thought they were so cute so let me show you guys are these not the cutest sunglasses ever my mom says it makes me look mean and then my sister said it made me look serious but i'll take both i want to be a serious mean person some days yeah oh yeah we got a set of six headbands which i used on the video that i just made and i like these just to pull my hair back i mean it's nothing special but what i was looking for a lot of the headbands have like that stretchy material in the back so it kind of like scrunches but i didn't want that i wanted one that was thick in the back and then just knotted in the front and i wanted it to be like that ribbed material and it was so hard to find one but i finally found them it's a pack of six and i'm here to report that they do their job i wear them when i go wash my face i wear them if i'm like clean around the house if i don't want to keep touching my hair with my dirty hands even for like little girls if you have daughters or something i think they would be a good thing to have for them as well and i really like the material it's extremely stretchy i don't know if they're gonna stretch out over time but i got a color club nail polish because cough i mean you guys are gonna hear a lot of coffee break danny because she makes me buy a lot of things on amazon but it's in light coral color and i just thought it was so pretty on her nails and i just had to have it oh i got that thing that you guys see back there it's a sunglasses holder and i got it because we used to have our sunglasses just kind of laying around in our shelf and i noticed that some of them were getting dirty or just damaged and you know even if you spend like ten dollars forty fifty it's still you know the money you're spending on things so if you can make them last a little longer why not so i ended up buying the glasses holder and i think it holds 25 sunglasses and so far we only have two rolls filled which means we need to buy more sunglasses naturally to fill them up because that's just what you're supposed to do, right? I also bought the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer, which is this one right here. And I got it in the shade 020 Bisque. And I got this because Mandy Lee. Mandy Lee recommended it saying she made a video of like her top 10 concealers or something. She has more mature skin. That's how she describes her skin. Um, and she said this one works out so well for mature skin or if you have just a lot of wrinkles I do I don't have a lot of wrinkles on my under eyes, but I do have you know some creasing and She said that she recommended this one. So I figured I would give it a try. This has been around for quite a while But I don't know. I just never bought it and I've used it once Yesterday and so far I really like it. It's not my favorite yet. I have to use it a few more times before Obviously, I can figure out if I like it or not, but you'll probably see that coming up in a video as well. We're getting to the end. Just a few more things. Okay, so I have an Apple Watch, and I love switching out the bands. I like having different ones for my mood. I have some silicone ones. I have the tortoise ones, turtoise, tortoise, whatever. I have a leather one, but I wanted one that was a stainless steel just because I just like the look of it. There was no function behind it and then they're picking this one here and i love how that looks i love that it tapers into the watch i feel like it adds a little bit more feminine touch instead of it just being straight i love that it just snaps on it's super easy to put on it's not magnetic but it just slides in through the back and you just snap it on and you can make it be whatever measurement you want and i'm just super excited because it's stainless steel i don't have to like be worrying about it getting wet and getting damaged and something happening to it and so far it's so good and it doesn't pull my little hairs because i know a lot of these sometimes can pull on your like arm hair this one does not do that even when it's moving around or if it you know wobbles everywhere i have a lot of arm hair and that would just not be fun then i got some leggings which coffee broke with Danny recommended on her ridiculous video she made a video where she did like a squat test and i'll link it below because it was just hilarious but they have a ton of different colors i got mine in a size what size did i get i think large i'm a size 10 yeah i got them in a size large i'm a size 10 and they fit perfect they look super cute 
and I'm excited that I bought them and I want to get more colors now. And they're, they're like $15. And then last but not least, I purchased some Korean barbecue sauce. So I use these to make our um, bulgogi meatballs, which apparently I looked online and, it, and it's not really a thing. It's a HelloFresh recipe that I copied and I remade and we all really, really love. So yeah, I've just been making that. But I needed to repurchase the sauce and I typically just buy it on Amazon. I'm sure I can just go to the store and get it cheaper, but I just can't be bothered. And I just buy the one online because it's easier. So I'll link that one as well below. That's going to be it. We made it. I hope this video is not extremely long. But most of all, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if any of these items you will be repurchasing. I would love to know. Out of all these items what you guys might find useful or helpful because honestly i can binge watch binge watch videos of amazon like all day long and they're so dangerous and my wish list keeps growing and growing like every so often i have to go on in there and clean it up because my wish list is ridiculous oh maybe that's what i can do next maybe i can give show you guys a wish list of amazon maybe i don't know would you guys be interested in that let me know. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate if you would do so. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Also, oh, one more thing. If you guys are interested in seeing this beautiful look that I come up with, I will link that below because it's a video that I just made as well. But anyways, that's it for today. I'll see you guys on